Now, the Federal High Court in Yenogwa has disqualified the candidate of the All Progressive Congress for the Bielsa West Senatorial by-election. So members of the APC had taken the former deputy governor to court challenging the legitimacy of the senatorial primary, which Richmond Ndakwe of the People's Democratic Party also approached the court seeking his disqualification from the contest on grounds of false information presented to the Independent National Electoral Commission. The All Progressive Congress has also reacted to the judgment of Justice Jane Nyang of the Federal High Court, Yenogua. A political party that has no primary election to nominate is a, a, a candidate cannot present a, a candidate in a general election, and that is the judgment of the court. The court held that the, the APC candidate also misled River State Investor of Science and uh, uh, Technology in Port Harcourt. But the APC candidate only secured admission with two credits. And, there is, uh, and uh, the investor requirement shows that as at the time he got the admission, he was not even qualified to be given, given the admission because uh, he didn't meet the requirement in his uh, secondary school. So until a court of appeal or the Supreme Court set aside the judgment just delivered by my Lord, the APC has no candidate. We have documents to show that we did primaries. We informed INEC, INEC received our letter, and we went for the primaries. INEC came to monitor. So I wonder why they say we did not do our primaries. We did. We are in touch with our lawyers, and they advise us on what to do. So follow us, faithful of APC.